Well, good morning, folks. Welcome to uh, another episode of Papa Key's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make um, some cheesy rolls. <clears throat> Very easy recipe. Right now I got some uh, milk and some water and butter in the microwave for 30 seconds. You want to try to get those three ingredients up to about 120, maybe 130 degrees. Um, the uh, things you'll need for this recipe will be two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of sugar, two and a quarter teaspoons of instant yeast, half a teaspoon of salt, a third of a cup of milk, a quarter cup of water, a half a cup of butter, one egg, and uh, the other thing I've added, I sauteed some uh, green peppers and some red peppers. <clears throat> I might have added a little bit of that, you know, <clears throat> hot pepper. And of course, you're going to need, I told you the egg and uh, shredded cheese. There's about three quarters of a cup of that. Don't have to be exact on this. Well, the first thing we want to do is you want to mix up your dry ingredients. So we'll start out with about, I don't know, three quarters cups of flour. Put that in there. And uh, I'm going to put my yeast in. I'm going to add my sugar. Next, we'll add the salt. Simple, simple. All right. Now we're going to try to mix that up just a little bit. scrape it down a little bit of course it's still a dry here's my thingy make sure that's all good and incorporated in there now Just check my temperature of these and see if we're in the ballpark. These are handy little things to have around. There's 126, 127, 128. It's right at 130. That's good because it'll cool down as I'm working with it. So same with the butter, the water, and... Can't forget our milk. And I'm going to add part of these in. There we go.
that for a second and open it up. You want to add some more flour. It'll save just a little bit. We'll put her back down there. Want it on medium or so. in this case we're making kind of a batter to go in you'll need to get uh, one of these cupcake pans uh, this should make about a dozen of them unfortunately I only have one of these I was at the store the other day looking at them I looked at the price and put them back on the counter and I said well maybe I'll get them on Amazon when you know it I needed them today I had a whole bunch of them you know I put them somewhere Someday I'll run across them. Well, if you don't, just get it off there. We'll open this back up again. I'm going to add my one egg. Voila. Oh, this is going to be delicious. I don't know if you ever had these before, but very simple to make. We're going to add in my peppers. Red peppers and green peppers. Put that in there. Try to use olive oil when you're doing this, but if you don't have it, use the vegetable. I'm gonna add my cheese. There. A little bit more water. Let's see how that mixes in. Looks yummy. Been having some crazy weather up here in Vermont. Believe it or not, I, we don't have any snow out there. It's just like springtime. The trees are going to get confused and start budding, and that's not a good idea. No, no sorry. Don't need trees budding this time of year. They need to be asleep so they can make some good maple syrup. Hope to get a little colder next week. Ideally, if it stays in the teens, you know, long above zero. I don't like that 20 below zero stuff. Chills the bone, I'll tell you. Don't think I'll be doing much ice fishing out there. I don't know about you, Wesley, but if you're going to go this year, you're going to need your boat. Might be able to get some of them inlands in there. Maybe they'll freeze over a little bit enough so you can drop a line in there and catch some of them yellow belly perch. Yep, those are delicious. Yeah. Roll them up in some good old cornmeal and fry them or bake them. Have a dab of lemon. Oh, just like candy. I didn't do too bad over Christmas. I gained four pounds. So my New Year's resolution is get rid of that four pound. Damn chocolate. Boy, did it taste good though. Ooh. open and we're going to add a little more flour we don't want it too wet but we don't want it too dry we want it just right there let's see what this does you want kind of a stiff batter not too runny. I got 
so I use this new mixer all the time. I'm gonna dig out the kitchen aid there because I think next week I'll make some more sausage. I don't know if you want to come along and watch me. I'm almost out of my secret sauce, so I'm gonna to have to make some more of that too. That's the best sauce in the world on top of the pizza, I'll tell you that. Boy. People all the time ask me to make them a pizza. They'll come and get it. I say, nah. You want one, then everybody's going to want one. Probably should have opened a pizza shop, huh? I had a pizza shop once. Then the damn flood came along, waked me out. Such is life, right? Didn't have any flood insurance. Half a million dollars down the drain. <laughs> well, you do, you pick yourself up, and you start over. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna get a scraper. I'm gonna try to scrape this down again. Make sure there's nothing on the bottom. Mm. That's gonna be good. Yes, sir. Now, I've got my oven on at, uh, 200 right now when I get this done I'm gonna turn that off and uh, he's got to rest for about 45 minutes seems like a long time but it's worth the wait almost like this but caught myself I'm trying to behave myself there One more spin around the block. That should do it. Turn this off. Clean off my paddle. The more I get off there, the less I have to wash. That off, that off. There. Give it a twist. That's a good spring. Gotta really push on it. Now this you turn. Look at that. See, it's kind of a wet mix, but not too wet. But just the way you want it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Nobody pays me for singing either. Now, I got, like I said, one of these. It's all greased up. I'll uh, figure out the best way of getting that out of there. Let's try this ice cream scoop. Maybe this will work. Why not? Worked all right. Somebody the other day told me that I shouldn't be running this ice cream scoop inside of my Teflon pants. Well, I guess they didn't grow up where I grew up because we used to wear those pots and pans right on our head every time we went out and played. Yep. But, I guess he was telling me something I probably didn't know. There's a lot of geniuses out there, I'll tell you that. Right, Ken? There. There's half a dozen of them. Turn that off, that off. Get with 
them in there to let them rise up. So, thank you for coming along. Like I said, this is kind of a simple one. And uh, if I have good luck, I'll be back at the end there to show you what they look like. And uh, I'll probably even have one for lunch with a little slab of butter on it. Yeah. Okay, I got another little pan over there. I'm just going to grease it up because I got enough to make probably three or four more. Might as well cook it all up. See how it comes out. I'll be talking to you a little later. Have a good day now. See ya. Now those look really delicious, don't they? Mmm. I cooked those at 375 and it took about 20, 22 minutes. But uh, that's because my oven was a little bit cooler. If I'd preheated it first, it probably would have been a little bit less time. Boy, don't those look good? Green peppers, red peppers, cheese. Mmm. Yeah. Delicious. Talk to y'all later. Have a great day.